Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to um, add an 8020 or any extrusion profile to your frame generator in Inventor. So I've downloaded my files here. You open those up. You've got my three files right here. First, I want to go to Manage Parameters. And I'm going to add a default parameter. Let me see here. The length. It's going to be by default one millimeter, and I'll just set that to export. I don't really know that we have to do that for sure, but okay. Better safe than sorry. Now this is a 30 by 30 profile, so I'll do 30 length times width times height, and our height again is 30 because it's a 30 by 30. Now, we actually don't need to do these, and I just remembered why. What we're going to do up here is we're going to change this from 100 millimeters to the length. So this links down here to the length of 1 millimeter. So yeah, I've mapped this down to the length. Let's go ahead and hit done. Um, now here's the length that I asked it to be, which is one millimeter. Now we could go ahead and if you want the, um, how should I say it? There's, uh, sometimes people want to be able to measure the, you know, how much it bands or whatever. So let's just set this to aluminum. Let's say it's 6061. And you could and put all these values from, I don't know, the 8020 catalog. But I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put put aluminum 6061 in there. You could add everything. Just just remember that. So I'm going to close that. So now we want to go ahead and author this. So we go to manage, author, which structural shape was already there, but um, because I used it last. So if it's not there, you just click this down arrow and do structural shape. Now, this is the category you want to publish it to. I already have 8020 in here as a read write um, library. So let's see, it's already chosen the default base point. Um, for the base extrusion, you want to select this geometry. And the notch profile, we're not going, we're not going to not, we're not going to do that. Now we have to map some parameters to uh, you know the dimensions right here. So the base length we're going to map to so yeah I've chosen length and this is the only option that you need to choose when you're publishing something to use in the frame generator. Okay we could do okay Publish now. So I've got everything chosen. I'm publishing this. Now it's going to tell you it's been altered for use in the structural shape authoring thing. Just hit OK. You're publishing it to this library. That's the category. Map family length. So our key column is going to be the part number. Um, let me just edit this so I can show you that it works. So I'll just do test, test, test. 30, 30. Standard organization is 80, 20 metric. That's all I'm going to do. Here's a nice thumbnail. I'm just going to publish this. Now, if I go to File, New, Assembly, I'm going to show you that this works. So I'm going to create, I'm going to create a frame. First I need to make a skeleton model.
So here's going to be my skeleton. Let's go to return design insert frame. You know, we're going to have to save the assembly. Now we're ready to do our frame generator. And our standard is this. All right. That's the uh, profile I just put in there. 30, 30, 30. going to ask you to do all this, you know, names, where they save kind of stuff. So now what I really want after this is done is for my uh, bill of materials to be in metric. Ah, thank goodness. Okay. Yeah, it's in metric. So that was the goal of making my own frame my extrusions from 8020 in the frame generator was there was already some made on the internet and I just wanted mine to be in metric. So you, know, you can see here there's this is 500 millimeters tall, right? So you can find this 500 millimeter, this 500 millimeter, this one, and let's see, I missed one somewhere. One, two, three, four. So yeah, you can see every frame member and the length in here. And it's really good to put these in in metric instead of in inches because you can, uh, you know, your bill of material is automatically going to show the right length um, in millimeters and, and, you know, metric units. So, yeah, that's how you author some frame members uh, as quickly as possible. Um, hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching.